All right, happy Friday, you guys. Hope you're doing so good. Here we are, end of the week, okay? It's Friday. Are you where you wanted to end? Did you get it done? I hope you did. I hope this helps you with this video. Like, subscribe, hit the button, okay? Even turn the notifications on if you feel like. All right, we're done with that. So here we go. Why do patterns matter? Patterns matter because you will get a better product when you pattern yourself after good things. My sisters, when they were younger, okay, were into sewing. They made dresses, shirts, all kinds of crazy stuff, pants. It's pretty cool. Without the pattern, though, let's face it, what they were trying to accomplish would have looked like a potato sack with a hole for the head and the arms cut out. You have to have a good pattern if you want the chance of a good result. In the telespace, patterns matter. What patterns are you putting in force and in place for that matter to be able to articulate to a consumer to get the information that you need to solve their problems? Are you following good patterns so you're not facing a bunch of objections? You're not facing a bunch of adversity? This is a big deal. Whether you're face-to-face, -face, you need to have good training, good skill, but you need to be following good patterns. When you're asking the client for the information, when you're getting it from them, what kinds of patterns are you using? Are you doing good, consistent work, following good, consistent scripts? Okay. Are you following a pattern on how you use that script and how you get the information and ultimately build what you're trying to build for the client? It's an important thing. Just like on your home, if you have an architect build something, you put the foundation up first before you put up the walls. You don't put up the walls and then go, oh, now I'm going to put the foundation down. You'll not have a house, okay? Just like in anything you do, there's systems that you must follow if you want a consistent, good result. In the telesales, you guys, you have to start off the call in the proper way. Those first five, the, can't even talk. First five seconds, you guys, have to hit hard, have to be concise, have to be direct, and have to be clear, okay? It's very important that it's brief as well. You've got a very limited time to catch the attention with purpose to the consumer. The consumer has to know what you're there for, what you're trying to offer, and what solutions you're bringing to their problem. If you're not there, then you're just fumbling around. Okay, You're trying to build something without plans. You have to have plans. You have to have intention. But develop good patterns of work so that you do the same thing every day. You roll your sleeves up. You get to your office at 730, and you start taking care of people. You start taking care of needs. And you leave at, let's say, 5 every day or 6 every day. Whatever that looks like for you, you need to develop patterns and plans of action so that you are consistent in your purpose. You need to have patterns from people that are better than you are. You need to be following good advice from people that can coach you to success. If you don't have those patterns yourself and you're not getting the results that you desire, pattern yourself after somebody that can get it done. Pattern yourself after somebody that is successful in the space that you want to be in. You'll have the best chance of success by mimicking and following proven patterns, you guys. Patterns of behavior, patterns of skill set, patterns of work ethic, and patterns of attitude. Attitude is so important in what we do. In the telesales space, in the face-to-face -face game, if you have a horrible attitude and look like you're weaned on a dill pickle, okay, you're probably going to be like oozing that to your consumer. If you're in a pattern of service, in a pattern of help, you're probably going to get farther in your career. You just will. Because you, if you truly care about people, it's going to shine through. If you don't, that's going to shine through as well. If you're coming across from a selfish mindset, which I hope you aren't. Most people in this industry are not. But there's a couple of them. There's some bad players. It just is. Okay, There's some selfish folks out there. They're going to make you look really good. Separate yourself from them. Let your consumer know or the prospect know what makes you different. What makes working with you as the final expense agent or the Medicare agent or the annuity agent, what makes you different? How are you going to solve their problems in a better way? I got some referrals today. Guess why? 
because the client knows that I take care of them well. They know when they call me, I stop everything and I handle them first. Everybody else comes second. It's a big deal. Get your priorities in order when you handle your clients, but follow good systems, you guys. You must have good systems. If you don't have the patterns, get help. Reach out. Okay, My information is in the description. If I can help you, if not, find somebody else. Find somebody else that you trust, that you can get advice from. Be working for people that are like-minded, that are on the same path, Okay, that are cut from the same cloth. When you build an agency, when you build a career, when you build an insurance okay, business to serve people, do it properly from the beginning so that you don't have to go back and fix things. It's easier to do things the right way and follow the right pattern than to try to just go at it alone. This business, if you just go at it alone, you're going to fall down a lot. You're going to get hurt. You can ultimately be successful, but it's going to take you a lot longer to gain traction because you don't know what you don't know yet. You don't have the proper patterns and work habits and skill set in place. You got to get into a position where you're learning. Get into a position where you're being coached properly so that you have the best practices in order so that you're fired up and you have confidence because the coach has taught you how to hit the ball out of the park. You don't just walk up and have a 100 plus mile an hour ball go by. You're just going to get hurt, okay? You have to have somebody teaching you how to hit that thing. I'm a horrible baseball player. I'd probably just be like a human fan, okay? Because that's not my space. It's not. But when it comes to insurance, the final expense market, and the telespace, this is what I do. I only worked a handful of hours today. I was busy helping my reps that work for me nationally. And guess what? I still was able to take care of multiple sales, meet multiple needs on my own pen, and it was fun. When you enjoy what you do, you're not working. You're almost playing. Have a great weekend, you guys. Skill up, work hard. Hope this helps.